back to another episode of the Ants Underground Kingdom. Uh, today I'm going to be touching up on the insect feature that was just recently added for Queen 16 and higher. So to access this feature you're going to have to build the insect habitat, the insect nests, and the termite farms. Which the termite farms are for fodder which help you hatch and level up the insects. The insect nests are for hatching the actual insects and the insect nest is used for stationing and viewing your own insects. So to get insects you actually need to get eggs first before you hatch. You will have to attack creatures, wild creatures, and as you can see here I got one from a level 15 scorpion. In order to hatch them, you're going to need fodder and resources. So for fodder, you're going to need to breed termites, which cost honeydew. And you only get a certain amount of fodder, which at level 5, I think it's 140 fodder per every like three and a half hours. So for the evolution for the insects, which was recently added with the feature, you can add another insect nest to uh, able to be hatched more eggs at once so you can hatch three eggs instead of two and then it helps you to where you hatch eggs faster to where you make fodder faster to where fodder is less expensive like uh, honeydew wise makes it to where fodder or you use less fodder to upgrade insects or to hatch insects and it lets you basically do do everything insect wise you can also make it to where you can hatch a larva over two stars which is great i mean if you don't have this you can't hatch them over one star they'll all be one star when you hatch them so for each insect, they actually have a different um, priority. And I'll be going over these priorities from the bottom right to the top left. The blue ones are basically the weaker ones. I mean, they all have their place, but they are the weakest class, I guess you could say. The purple being the middle class and the orange being the top or the best. So for Ladybug, it's for resource output. So it helps you produce resources other than water and fungus. For the snail, it's good at overall attack and defense and hunting wild creatures. So it can help you with a tactical attack attack and damage on wild creatures the locust is good for gathering uh, your gathering speed the amount you gather extra and the marching speed to the gather the orb weaver is for all soldiers attack and defense which is good when you're attacking other hills or you're fighting in SVS the orchid mantis is like the sub tier or the second guardian insect which will help you with everything guardian wise like it's attack defense health the rove beetle is a, the sub tier shooter insect which will help you with everything shooter wise but it again is only the sub tier there is a better the longhorn beetle is for carrier ants it helps with everything carrier attack damage health you know defense the Yuang beetle is actually a healing beetle for development, which helps with your healing cap, your healing speed, and your proportion of the overflow injured ant treated in the full healing pot, feeling pools. So after your healing pools are full, it'll treat a certain, certain percentage of them that go over. The jumping spider is the top guardian ant insect. It helps much more than the actual orchid so it is the top uh, tier in its guardian class 
The hermit crab is good for hatching, guardian, shooters, and carriers for the hatching speed and hatching cap. It makes them hatch faster and it gives you more to hatch at a time. For the mantis, or the giant mantis, it's a shooter, it's the top tier shooter class insect. It does everything shooter wise, but it is better than the rove beetle. The scorpion is for carriers, it's the top tier carrier uh, class insect, so it will do better than the actual longhorn beetle. All of these actually have a place, so if you get one that you already have, or you just you know have the better tier of the shooter or the guardian and you don't need it you can actually go to redeem them or you can change them into spores which you go here to the book into the insect you click the book and in the bottom left the ant with the X on it will let you redeem them or put them into fragments where you can redeem over here and after you reach a certain amount of fragments, you can redeem any of them. I mean, there's no limit on which one you can redeem. That's all of them. And, yeah, that's basically everything you need to know, or that I know up to this point on the insects. And I will release a video further on, going into further detail of, like, the tactical attack and the combat speed and such. But as of right now, this is all the information I have on them. Thank you, everyone, and have a good one.